So it's seven o'clock in the morning and I am back in New York City after two wonderful days filming at the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. Just walking across the park from Central Park West to the Metropolitan Museum where I'm going to spend today filming on six instruments. The, the tone of what I'm going to do is very different and exciting. After yesterday, which was very much focusing on Italian Cremonese instruments and also the dialogue between instruments in modern and Baroque setup with the Amati and the Stradivarius violins, <clears throat> today has a predominantly American flavor. Although we are going to begin with filming uh, 17th century music on uh, a Stradivarius. The rest of the time will be instruments which are very much to do with this country. <clears throat> beginning with a really exciting thing, the uh, a 1757 viola made downtown in New York, which is the oldest truly American-made violin, made by a maker called Horn, H-O-R-N-E, um, who clearly came over from London, or certainly London trained. This instrument was very likely used for the American premiere of the Messiah in 1770 and beats by two years the previously oldest American violin, which was 1759. There's a lot of excitement about that and I'm truly excited too. Alongside that, I'll be recording on instruments made in the 19th century in America and perhaps most excitingly of all, a mute violin, a new violin made by a maker called Abbott in Philadelphia. It's in which is designed to deal with the problem of living in small apartments and wanting to make music whilst not trying to be too loud. This is not a practice violin. This is an exquisite um, artwork in many ways, um, which seeks to make a virtue out of the limits of delicateness, of quietness. So I'm going to be recording music ranging from some of the music which I know would have been played by, say, very amateur musicians in America in salons in the late 19th century through to 18th century music, which I'll record on the early viola and then all the way back to the 17th for the music which I'm going to record on the Stradivari to begin today. So it's an absolutely beautiful day and I can't get, I can't wait to get to work.